You don't mind if I rush right out again, do you? No, of course not. You do whatever you have to. Any of those for me? Uh, all of them, actually, except Nigel's weekly letter. There you are. I thought your mother was looking very well this weekend. Yeah. You know, I think we ought to do this sort of thing more often. I don't mean going to see my parents, but just getting away together on our own. Yes, let's try to do that. Yeah. Nigel's in the house football team. He played in goal and made two wonderful saves. Good. But they lost eight... eight nil. <laughs> oh, dear. So he thinks he'd become a centre forward instead and join the chess club. Is there some connection? Oh, only in the lack of punctuation, I think. Oh, and he says that the school plays on Friday and we're allowed to take him out to tea first, and are we going? I should think so. <laughs> oh, um, we may be attending a cocktail party. It's business. Ted's not very keen, but I think we ought to go. I'm raising it at today's board meeting. Why is Ted chairman and managing director? It just is, that's all. Well, we agreed with Dad died. But that was a stopgap measure, surely. I mean, chairman, perhaps, Ted is the oldest, but is he the one best qualified to be chief executive? Well, who else is there? Well, why not you? Me? <laughs> Anne, I have no ambition to be managing director. I'm not talking about ambition, Brian. I am talking about the good of the firm. You tell me that you're aiming to become a really big company, probably quoted on the stock exchange one day. Well, Ted's nice. But is he really up to that? You are the one with the financial brain, and that's what they're going to need. 